Facing the fall, all Florida schools will reopen for in-person learning this fall. It follows an order from the Florida Department of Education. So each school district must now come up with a plan that includes brick-and-mortar classrooms to submit to the state. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is joining us live outside the Duval County School Board headquarters this morning. Ashley, this basically removes some of the guesswork for parents and planners, but we should point out, considering that we have interviewed superintendents from around our area, brick-and-mortar is included in one of the options to most of the parents. Yes, it is. Jen and Bruce, good morning to you both. Yes, some working parents had actually been in limbo, wondering if they'll need to find alternative child care options into the fall, and now they know that classroom learning is an option. School campuses must be open at least five days a week this fall. That's under a new order from the Florida Department of Education. Moving forward, each school district must come up with its own plan. And if a school district still wants to offer virtual learning as an option, they can, but the program must be approved by the state. Districts can also choose to only offer in-person learning. Things are confusing right now, and suddenly everybody around the state is in a panic because now everyone has to interpret yet another order. Rebecca Beller is a Duval County school parent and disagrees with the emergency mandate, saying she believes it was done in haste. Under the mandate, submitted plans must also include how each district will be able to offer all services to students. And the plans must also include the percentage of students in the district who are projected to continue with distance learning. The order also requires districts to disclose efforts to address achievement gaps and monitor her student progress. Under the current DCPS plan, students in grades 7 through 12 would only attend in-person classes two to three days a week or enroll in online instruction. The Duval County School District tells News for Jax it's looking over and reviewing the state's order. A spokesperson said, quote, we will be adapting our plans to ensure they are compliant with this state direction. Once we know what these modifications will be, we will be able to say more. Um, I hope that the Florida Department of Education is going to do whatever is necessary to support the local schools. The, the federal government and the state government has always pushed everything to local control. And right now there is no deadline for when school districts must hand over their submitted plans to the Department of Education. The Duval County School District is having a meeting tonight at 5 o'clock. It's going to be happening virtually. We expect to hear some more reaction to this announcement. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.